this video, I'm going to share to you some of my favorite Bible stories. Shout out to my Tita Eugene who gave these books. Our first story is about Noah. Long ago, everyone hated and disobeyed God. Except Noah. One day, God warned Noah that he will send a great flood. God told him to make a wooden ark big enough for his family. did exactly what God told him. After they entered the ark, rain fell in 40 days and 40 nights. The earth was flooded, and every li li living thing was wiped out. Noah, his family, and the animals were safe. God invited Noah to come out of the ark. God made a promise that he will never send a flood again. a sign of his promise. That's the story about Noah. Next story is about Jonah. Have you heard about him? It's a story about obedience. One day, God told Jonah to go to the city of Nineveh. He must warn the people to stop doing evil things. If they do not change, God will destroy the city. Instead of going to Nineveh, Jonah got on a ship, sailed away in the opposite direction. And God sent a big storm to the sea. The storm and dead after the sailor flew Jonah overboard and 
God sent a big fish to swallow him. Jonah stayed there for three days and three nights. Jonah prayed and thanked God for saving him. God forgave him and put him safe on a dry land. Jonah went to Nineveh and told the people to ask God for forgiving their sins. The people of Nineveh listened and changed their ways. God forgave the people and didn't destroy the city after all. That's the story of Jonah. The next story is about Daniel. King Darius was the new king of Babylon. He picked men to help him rule. One of them is Daniel. He liked him the most. That made the other man jealous. Other king's men thought up a plan. They convinced King Darius in passing a law that anyone who prayed to another god or man, other than the king, would be thrown into the den of lions. Daniel knew about the law, but he continued to pray to the God of Israel. The other man told the king about it. King Darius tried to save Daniel, but the law could not be revoked. They arrested Daniel, owe him to the den of lions. The next morning, the king rushed back to the den and found out Daniel was unharmed. Daniel told the king, God sent an angel to shut the lion's mouth. King Darius was delighted and made a new law that everyone would worship God. Here's the story about Jesus. Jesus was born in a manger in Bethlehem. He lived in Nazareth, was soon baptized by his cousin John. Choose twelve disciples to help him to spread the word of God. Jesus 
did many miracles. Once he fed thousands of people with only five loaves of bread and two fish. Jesus also healed the sick and even raised the dead. The people love him. This made the high priest jealous. They had Jesus arrested, him to a cross, and he died. His friends put his body in a dog. When they visited the tomb, three days later, the tomb was empty. Jesus has risen and was alive. That ends my story.